Yeah, I agree. Technically. Coach, just tell us about your, your two seniors and how much they've meant to this program. Well, winners, winners, winners. They've uh, they've done nothing but win since they've been here, and um, you know the position they play as defensive players. Uh, it's unheralded a lot of times, uh, but but they've been the rocks of our program in their time here. They both started since they were freshmen back there in the back row and uh, and have certainly helped us win a lot of matches. Uh, a team with only two seniors, how has this team adjusted to not being a whole ton of senior leadership? Well, you know, it's been it's been interesting. We we don't have a lot of seniors, but we do have a lot of kids that have played a ton of volleyball, and um, so you know we've incorporated some of our younger kids in there with them. But these two. You know, part of that is, is you have to have kids as seniors that are willing to allow other people to be part of the leadership group. And these two kids are such great human beings, and they're, they're good students, they're good teammates, and uh, they've certainly represented our university well. I know you all had a lot of expectations for yourselves this year, not just on the outside, but in, you know, inside the expectations. How do you think you guys have lived up to those so far? Well, we're, we're above and beyond what my expectations were. I, you know, I had some real concerns with this team about depth. Um, you know, and um, you know, I thought we had some holes, and we do have some holes still. Um, but but that's what makes me really proud of this group is they've overcome so much. They've overcome a lot of obstacles. They've overcome a lot of adversity and injuries and things along the way. And and they just find a way to win every night. And uh, and, and what, what coach wouldn't be proud of that? What were the depth issues? Just guess not not having a lot of depth in certain positions or what? Yeah, it's just strictly a numbers game this year. You know, we don't. We, you know, we graduate two this year. We're bringing in four. Uh, uh, you know, our numbers are kind of low this year a little bit. And uh, and we've always had a lot of really versatile players that weren't just locked into a position. And this year we don't have as much of that. And so that's that's hurt our depth as, much, as well. And um, But, I, you know, I, when I talk about the warts that this team has, uh, that's, that's what makes me so proud of what they've accomplished because this is a team that hasn't come easy to all year, but uh, but they found a way every night, and, and I'm really proud of that. Ranked 20th championship on your How do you make sure they're motivated on Thursday night to go that Well, I mean, we got a chance to do something pretty special. There's only been three volleyball teams in the history of Conference USA that have gone undefeated, and uh, and we have a chance to be one of those. And, uh, you know, we're still fighting for uh, seeding and the NCAA tournament and all those things. It's, it's nice to be playing in a situation where we're probably already an NCAA tournament team, uh, and that takes a little bit of the pressure off. But, uh, you know, it, it gives us an opportunity to, to finish here in Dill Arena for these two seniors. There's, there's, I tell our players, told our players yesterday, there's no greater gift you can give to a group of seniors than to win for them on senior night, and, and we'll be ready to play. No, you don't want to think too far ahead, but maybe any chance you guys can host a host for each Well, you know what? Time? We're still right there on the brink of that. You know, our RPI was 17 this week. There's 16 seeded teams in the tournament, and it doesn't strictly go by uh, by RPI, but that's certainly one of the real measures. And so that's something, you know, I, I laid out there for this team a month and a half ago. You know, I told them, you're probably going to have to run the table if you want to host because it was something that they talked about. And, uh you know, I kind of threw that out, lobbed that out there, and uh, and they've lived up to it to this point. So uh, it would be awesome for them to get that opportunity. Has this been one of the more dominant teams you've seen in terms of the stretch that they're on? Yeah. No, it it really hasn't. We have a dominant. We I know we're on a long winning streak, but again, that's what I love about this team the most is is our our margin is really thin every night. You know, we've we've had a lot of big matches that we've played well in, but. You know, against teams that, that we would normally be able to come out and dominate, we've had to really work to get wins. And this is a team that doesn't have a huge margin. And uh, so it's it's not one of the most dominant teams I've had, but it is one of the, the teams that I'm the most proud of because they are on a remarkable – if you would have offered me 26-2, and two, I would have uh, – not, not even entered that conversation <laughs> with you at the beginning of the year. And, uh, and I'm just really, really proud of what they've done. Coach, thank you.